Hello, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is having or has had a great week and I hope everyone has a good weekend. So today I'm going to be doing the Zodiac sign reading and last month I didn't do it. As you may know or may not know, it was a really, you know, a very um, busy month for me. Um, so we're going to do the Zodiac sign reading for April. And let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay. All right. So what I got for the month of April, as far as the energy reading, um, I felt like there was a more of a forward moving energy and it's probably because as you may or may not know uh pluto went into aquarius in march the end of march i think it was march 23rd around there or 21st i can't remember so i just feel like it's changed things and there's this energy like this thrust of energy and the sense of that the higher self has no fear and is sort of like our inner cheerleader and pushing us to move further um and uh you know pushing for improvements mentally and physically and also the negative energy is working its way out of the body, especially of the light body and releasing through the crown chakra. So you may even feel at times physical symptoms like headaches or muscle aches. Um, so the focus is energy moving in and processing and energy moving out. And I also got to be ready to absorb the new light codes that are coming in, the expanding of energy, contracting of energy, and then relaxing of the energy. And so you may experience more ascension sy symptoms, you know, such as them manifesting in physical form. Um, there could be people also having angry outbursts. Um, but although, I think that the energy has calmed down and is not as bad as it was in March. Okay, so Aries. So we got the Ace of Wands, uh, which is Master of Communication, a force of mental energy with words, leadership abilities. You have been asked to speak. You, you may be, may have asked may have been asked to speak at a public event. Um, the focus is on getting your message across to the public. It could be through social media or getting across to a bigger audience. Uh, you feel open and feel as though you can express yourself. And I got the armor of God is with you and doors will be opening up for you this month. Okay, so moving down to Taurus, which is the sun. A nice major arcana card. The sun is always nice to have in your reading. Very positive. Uh, so for Taurus, health, joy, illumination, children bringing you great joy, connection with mother and father energies, great healing and an energy upgrade there will be positive surprises this month and people in your life will show appreciation for all you do for them so april's pretty much a family focused month uh then the next card and the next sign is gemini okay so for gemini uh also a major arcana card so you're going through major issues that sort of have been ongoing for the last couple months. 
Um, so you've been struggling with defending your energy and standing your your grounds. Um, you're searching for knowledge, wisdom. You're also reco- you also may be recovering from a trauma or a loss. Uh, you feel as though you want to, um, and I would was also going to say too that you also may be recovering from surgery or some kind of health issue. Um, you feel as though you want to isolate yourself, uh, and also there is somebody older than you, such as a parent or uncle or aunt, that will also be uh, the focus. Or they may even be focusing on you and actually like helping you through this time. So you are pretty much compelled to go within. All right. So now we have cancer, which is the high priestess. So the high priestess is very intuitive. And also this is a major arcana card. Very intuitive. So therefore, a very intuitive month. Um, So spirit says to follow your intuition and nudges. The universe is steering you in the right direction. Many downloads this month. uh, There is a focus and concentration. Abundance. There is abundance. There is health. There is fertility. Truth in the written word. The high priestess is the counselor and advisor. There is a unification with higher self and with the universe. So now we have Leo, which is the Knight of Cups. This is the heart. This is passion, grace, creativity. You are looking to gain the attention of an important person or persons dear to your heart. I'm also getting, uh, you may be working on a project, like a humanitarian project to help humanity. So the Knight of Cups expresses himself with confidence, a deeper self, there is a deeper self of, of awareness with emotional maturity. This month you will find inspiration. This card may mean you will be offering something this month. You will be offering, you will be, you will, I'm sorry, you will be offered something this month. Um, this may also be a relationship or a marriage. Okay, so now we move on to the Five of Cups for Virgo. So for Virgo, um, Five of Cups is usually some sort of disappointment, sorrow, looking back at past hurts and resentments, letting go of bad or past experiences, healing past hurts, April is a great month to clear out negative energy and remember to be grateful for the for the present. Something may trigger you this, this month and put you in a depressed mood. It is important to work through it. You may find out the truth about a situation or a person. Thank God it's a five because five indicates that it's not permanent. It won't, the situation won't last. All right, so moving on to the Queen of Swords, which is for Libra. Uh, Queen of Swords is the power of words and ideas, being brutally honest. She can be cutting and brutally honest at times. Um, There is a determination. There's also an integrity about her. There is sheer willpower. She has a lot of willpower and... Um, a lot of discipline. She has big plans for the future, for future endeavors. Uh, You may have plans to move or move your business or even both move your business and your place of residence. Um, So you're waiting pretty much for the dust to clear to enable you to, to see more clearly 
with the timing of things and you have a big goal in mind. But, you know, as I said, timing is everything. Okay, so now we have moving on to Sagittarius, which is two of wands. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? It wasn't Sagittarius. We're moving on to Scorpio. So Scorpio, this is pretty much you're looking at the big picture. Um, you're looking kind of like reviewing your life as a whole. And you're getting ready to make big decisions. This also could indicate um, like a big breakthrough, kind of like the a big breakthrough that you've been waiting for for a while, for a good year. Uh, this could be also be, um, I would say, you might get offered a new job. Um, but you're kind of reviewing everything in your life and sort of updating your updating your resume um updating you know um making changes you want to make these changes in your life and this could also be you know health related as well um but this month i i really feel that this month is going to be there's there's definitely going to be a breakthrough here. So now we're going to the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius. And the Queen of Cups, she's very intuitive and she's very focused, deeply focused. She takes calculated risks and is very empathic. Um, this card is that of a healer or a wise woman. She's also a nurturer and is resilient. If you are a male, you will see more healing qualities manifest in yourself. If you are a woman, you will experience heightened intuition. And Queen of Cups is a natural caregiver, nurse, or counselor. All right, moving on to Capricorn, Page of Swords. The focus is on children, communication with children. You may be a teacher. Uh, there may also be gossip and innu innuendo around you. This month, you will be beginning or starting over with some aspect of your life. You may be starting a new job, new, loca new location where you are living in, a new class. Uh, April is a month of renewal. And Page of Swords focuses on messages from the universe. And then we're going on to Aquarius, which is Seven of Wands. Uh, Seven of Wands uh, indicates a unique situation or may mean travel to a foreign country. You may also have to defend your territory and stand your ground. Uh, so stay strong this month. You may have to seek the counsel of a third party for advice, and the issue the issue will be resolved, but you must protect your own energy in the meantime. Okay, and now the last card is the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces. She is the financial planner through patience, steadiness, and perseverance. You may take some calculated risks this month by weighing out the timing and it all it seems that all of your hard work is starting to pay off uh queen of pentacles is an earthy card so you would definitely benefit from making a deep connection with mother earth this month okay so i'm all done here and really thank you for watching i really appreciate it i appreciate your comments you know i appreciate everybody subscribing to my channel and really you know love light and peace take care